Very good morning to everyone here and good morning to grand judges. First of all, I would like to take this opportunity to thank for you guys to give us the opportunity to present our solution here. <coughs> so briefly about Comtel, Comtel has been in the uh, market for the past 25 years. We are a Finnish based company. <coughs> we have been in India for the past already 10 years now. and. We are in the mediation space and also in policy control and online charging. So today we will present how we came about on our solution. So as our colleague from Comviva was presenting about data search, that is very much inevitable. Everybody is carrying an iPhone, everybody is carrying a smart device nowadays. So from the independent source, we also have evidence that more traffic is growing on the data and the cost for the operator to maintain the data is quite substantial not only maintaining the user experience but also the infrastructure but we can see the service revenue is not getting anywhere I mean it's kind of stagnated so we have to do something differently so what we have to do differently is we have to balance the traffic and the revenue where we can actually productize data into a more profitable account. So this is where we see where policy control will be needed to productize data into money. So how did we take a look with this need in order to address this problem? Well, we just made it simple. Where we saw was we took a look at the usage information usage information can come from various form for example from PCEF or whatever devices like DPI as well where you we evaluate this usage information and come into a productized usable policies where we put our piece in between to create that creative policy so that it can be monetized so monetization can be actually done from network infrastructure itself but in order to do that from simplicity we need to create something more. I'll just give you an example of how a monetization can be done from a use case we actually have implemented in Europe. So for an example here what we did was we did a policy control using three different products. What happened here is we created policies like silver, gold or bronze which have different quality of service but a twist to the policy here is we implemented policy quite intelligently where for each of these subscribers they can have different quality of service for an example you can say that silver have uh, 5 megabits and gold have like 10 megabits and we have defined the policy in such a way where not only that the quality of service is defined based on the package but also leveraging the availability bandwidth of the network so in this case for an example let's say you have three different users coming in and they have co could be similar policies like all silvers with five megabits but since that particular network or cell site is giving enough uh, network capacity so all of them can have seven megabit this is the initial one because the policy which we applied allow the network to do that but at the same time let's say next guy come in let's say corporate customer with a more bandwidth capacity of course he's going to be a premium customer since the other guys are having different quality of service adjustment so the network it does automatically adjust those quality of service to the paid value of the other customer so here they total back to five megabits because the corporate customer has more priority on the network but then if everybody leaves the guys who has the silver package for an example the quality of service can be automatically adjust in the RAN so this is the advantage of giving policies more intelligently than doing a static policies where you can leverage the telecom uh, network capabilities as well now this is one use case how you can do the investment and monetize 
those data services in an area of congestion control. So when we took into simplicity and making it into completeness, basically the policy control has to have more modules to it. So we have implemented all the necessary modules from the interface to the southbound to the northbound and the subcomponents like the SPR, that is the service profile repository and the PCRF. But this will not be enough because we have to make sure our components are interoperable with the network equipments and the environment ecosystem around it. So we are also compliant to the standards like 3GPP, TSPAN and diameters which allow us to communicate to the southbound and also the northbound of the network ecosystem. Saying that with this architecture what we have done and implemented in most of the customer sites are quite remarkable. We have done so many use cases like for an example you can see the location based use case or time and date or APN actually gives the operator the leverage to say based on a location you can actually change the policies or a good case will be the device base if you see the second row so since we have more and more dongle users which are using sim cards they are operators who doesn't want them to be swapped to other devices so with that we can do blocking of policies as well but more interestingly on the social impact if you see the last line or the last row we have done roaming cost control for a group in Europe well it's a public reference so we can say it's Teliasonera group <laughs> there was a legislation where Europeans could not spend more than 50 euros when they are roaming so they actually opted with our policy control where we give appropriate threshold messages when they come or approach to that particular figure so this is all done in online not real time but online so these are the examples of policy control of Comtel which can give substantial market impact and social impact. Being saying that we haven't stopped our ideas or creativity, we actually moved on. What we think the market really needs is a sustainable system where it not only increases or generates more money for the telecom operator but gives value for money to the user itself. If that is satisfied, then I don't think so. Everybody don't mind paying if they, if they can see the value for the money. So how are we going to do it? We will do it in a more innovative way. What we will do is we will use analytics. Comtel this has now acquired analytic companies, which will help us to get various information from various data points, which we can understand the usage pattern of a subscriber. For an example here, we can get information from the PCF or real-time data devices if we have a device manager, then compress them, correlate them and optimize them to find out what are the appropriate use cases which will be very customizable or applicable for the subscriber base in that particular environment. So as you can see here, there will be profile scores against use case or most common use case which we can analyze and predict. Based on that, what we can do is we can apply business templates. By doing that, we can create business template visits which list down the most substantial use case which will be applicable for the particular operator. And we can actually import this use case to our policy control which can be then used in real production. So with this, what we can do is we're not only maximizing uh, the user experience here, but also optimizing the use cases which is required by the operator. And also, we also decrease the time to market because now we have a ready-made use case which can be deployed quite fast. Being saying that, I think I would like to thank all of you to giving me this opportunity. I hope uh, I'm quite well in time, I guess. So please, if you have any questions, this will be the time. Well, uh, we are actually f uh, filing innovation pattern on the uh, substantial part of it because those are integrations of two different uh, what it calls areas which we're going to apply on 
getting automation for the use cases. That is on the, uh, I think it's work in progress still. Uh, I have to check with my uh, legal department there, but they are doing that one already. And is this system uh, in operation in multiple telecom operators? Yeah, we have at least uh, 20 worldwide. What is the total global market for policy Sorry, platform? Sir? What is the, your estimate of the global market size for the policy model? In terms of what, sir? US dollar? Okay. Well, that is very subjective matter. I would like to go back to this particular slide here. If you can see, there is some independent source telling us how much of money has been made, at least for voice. It's $927 billion. But if you talk about data, we haven't reached there simply because we have not monetized data. So I would say the market is still vast, but how creative we can be to do that? That is a question. I'm not asking the data market size that is well established and yep. estimated. I'm saying of your platform. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I didn't what is the global market size and what kind of share you are looking at? Okay, from uh, current market size, I would say that uh, we are only about 10-15% of the market share. And uh, in terms of uh, monetary, uh, I'm not that sure about that because, yeah, to so give you a frank answer in terms of monetary.